Hi John, good to see you last night. I just want to go over a couple of points that we discussed during last night's session. Um, really the first thing I want to touch on is the posture position. Um, last week previously you was um, uh, in your posture, in your setup position with a, a much straighter back uh, than you've got now. It's um, just developed that little bit of an arch there. So I ideally want you to just flex your knees a little bit more. Um, just try and bend forwards, keeping that back a little bit straighter, um, which is going to allow you to rotate your body a little bit better during that back swing. Uh, so you're going to put yourself into much more of an athletic uh, position, allow your body to turn much more freely. Uh, a little bit like Luke's um, is here on the right hand side. He's got a nice straight back um, and a good sort of posture position there, allowing him to make that more consistent goal swing. The next area that we looked at, um, certainly done some really good work uh, at completely rechanging your goal swing. Now, one of the drills we got you working on last week was to really exaggerate the swing that you was doing, to just retrain your body again to make a completely different move to what it was doing previously. Uh, so previously the, the swing or the back swing was a little bit too much around yourself and too flat, um, and then your hands lifted upwards and then forwards, and you had a loop forwards, uh, which made the club, uh, or got you to swing the club uh, from outside the golf ball um, on an inward path, creating that slice shot that you were hitting previously. So the drill we got you working on was to swing the golf club way outside the line on the way back to get your hands in a position where they're, they're much higher up, much deeper, looping the golf club back on the inside, which allowed you to deliver that club now from an inside path with good rotation, allowed the golf ball to fly much squarer down your target and there you can see that the golf ball is just just leaving the golf club now much more in the right direction. And the shots that you got were uh, some slight draw shots. Occasionally you got the ones where you over rotated and just pulled them off a little bit to the left hand side. Um, so the drill that we got you doing there has uh, worked really well to retrain that golf swing and coming um, or delivering and having the ability to, li to deliver that golf club from an inside path to create those shots. Um, but what that drill was really doing was an over-exaggeration of the moves that we really want to make. So we said last night that we really need to neutralise those positions. Um, so I've just got um, Luke here now with the, the lines up the top line is somewhere where he wants to swing that golf club um, around you in his back swing and then he's still going to have a little bit of a drop inside um, to get the club coming uh, on a flatter plane back down to the golf ball and um, to allow him to deliver that club again from an inside position. So if we just take him up there you can see that the swing plane or the angle of his club is very similar to that plane um, there on his way up. He's got his hands, he's just about got his hands there above that line at the top of his back swing. So his hands are quite high up and um, just over his right shoulder. And then from there now, he's just going to have a slight movement down with his hands to drop them back inside and underneath that line. And you can see now the angle of his club has slightly changed to somewhere very similar to the line on the bottom. Again, what that's going to do is just allow him to change that swing plane slightly to allow him to get the club there behind him and deliver that club from a nice inside path. And as he comes through the golf ball, he's going to rotate his forearms and allow his hands to naturally rotate back on the arc, bringing it back on the inside um, and put a little bit more down his target. So again, that's allowing his hands to rotate and allow the, the ball to start in the right direction and allow his, his hands to, to dictate uh, the more consistent golf flight there, or ball flight, sorry. So, what we tried to get you to do there is we put a, a couple of little objects um, for you to avoid during that golf swing. So, we had a little tee peg um, just behind the golf ball in that position there. Now, ideally there, we wanted you to swing the golf club over the tee peg on the way back, which that was going to get your hands in a position um, 
ideally in that sort of position there. So your hands are going to be more over the top of your right shoulder, a little bit higher up. So they're definitely up above this uh, this swing plane line there. Uh, the next thing I wanted you to do is just to neutralise that loop inside. See there, you, the loop inside is just a little bit too much at the moment. So we're going to make that loop a little bit smaller just to allow your hands to drop below that swing plane line which is going to allow you to deliver the golf club from the inside so as the club's coming back on the inside there you're going to miss the tee peg on the way back down Then also what we did we put a little basket just on the inside of your follow through there which was going to allow your hands to stay working along that natural arc of your golf swing so the club's going to come inside the tee peg um, on the way down and then work on the natural arc through impact and continue to rotate or to continue on the path around the outside of the basket which is again going to stop um, any movements of your body pulling that golf club on the inside too much so if you did that we said you're going to hit that basket so a more natural swing uh, a more natural swing plane Again, your hands a little bit higher up there, having a slight loop inside just to get that club coming from an inside position. So we're going to swing the club uh, from an inside position there and then allow it to follow through on a natural arc around the outside of the obstacle um, that we add into your follow through position. Again, that combined with some good rotation of your forearms will allow you to hit a nice consistent um, shot towards your target. So, if you continue to work on those drills, if you've got any problems, just give me a call. Uh, but uh, I will look forward to seeing you again very soon.